commerce and management commerce and management will be the host for the webinar i would like to begin with a quote the capacity to learn is a gift the ability to learn is a skill the willingness to learn is a choice brian herbert and that's exactly what nac criteria based international level faculty development program strives to bring all the scholarly knowledge from different disciplines to enrich and enlighten all of us and make the seven day faculty development program a great success i extend a warm greetings to everyone it's a great pleasure and a real honor for me to welcome you all on behalf of shishadipram institute of commerce and management to this virtual nac criteria based international level faculty development program now may i kindly call upon our head of the department of commerce associate professor punita ji to welcome the gathering over to you ma'am uh, thank you vinija ma'am it is my honor to welcome our principal professor vidya shivanandanavar to this international faculty development program i request you to preside over the session madam today thank you, thank you. we are on the fifth day of international faculty development program we have with us Dr. Srinath T K, Assistant Research Professor, C M S Business School, Jain Group of Institution, to educate us on future role of teachers, sustained pedagogical innovation in digital infrastructure. A warm welcome to you on behalf of Sheshadripuram Educational Trust and Sheshadripuram Institute of Commerce and Management. Welcome, sir. I welcome you, all the research. Yes, sir. I welcome all the research scholars and participants, and my dear colleagues who have gathered for this session. I welcome co-convener, conveners of Drishti Forum for this session. I welcome Professor Associate Professor Amar H. J. I. Q. A. C. Coordinator for this session. I welcome all. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. It is my turn to extend a gracious welcome to our HOD Associate Professor Punita Ji to this webinar. I welcome you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Today is the fifth day of the FDP program. The topic of this session is future role of teachers, sustained pedagogical innovation in digital infrastructure. It is my privilege to introduce the speaker of today's session. Dr. Srinath T K, Associate Professor, C M S Business School, Jain Group of Institution. Sir has over thirty-four years of teaching experience, including undergraduate and postgraduate program. Sir also been a prolific writer who has authored several textbooks and research papers in the area of accounting and management. Sir has many recognitions awards to his credit, to name a few. television relay of accountancy teaching in tv channels of karnataka state a column in newspaper on the subject accountancy pre university syllabus was published shishadipram educational trust academic leadership and excellence award on 3rd march 2016 visit to Jak jakarta indonesia intercontinental business school for handling accountancy classes during 2018 and 19 video conferencing classes conducted for mba students at gice institution on advanced financial management articles published in newspaper with respect to second puc accountancy syllabus coaching in vijay karnataka newspaper it's a proud privilege to have you sir may i now request dr shrina tk sir to address the gathering over to you sir thank you madam thank you very much and a very good afternoon to everybody and uh, the topic future role of teachers it is so interesting that corona has reversed everything according to me and i think all of you will accept every teacher was a student once and every winner was a loser once every winner was a loser and also a learner and every expert was a beginner once but everybody has crossed the bridge of learning today i am seeing the difference between listening telling talking learning today the role of a teacher is very less the reason is according to bhagavad gita key to happiness is reduction of desire 
when i am a teacher first I, my duty is to be ethical i should see that the audience in front of me their parents have kept me in with confidence in front of me means my desire should be to enhance their knowledge money matter comes later today pedagogy is taking the very important role and all of you have seen this teachers are like candle they burn throughout just to light up the lives with their knowledge today i am seeing lot of technological changes today the technological changes means what we call it as pedagogy pedagogy is the mode of educating the minds the process involved in educating the younger mind and it helps students to achieve deeper learning today just learning is not important it is deeper learning today according to me a teacher should practice project based learning and flipped learning flipped learning means students should have direct access to knowledge a teacher should act only as a mentor today i should make the students learn more at home i should give assignments i should tell them the curriculum and all of us agree that mind opens every day to innovate every day to do some innovation to stand in front of the students today students are not like before today some students come prepared for the class when students come prepared for the class i should be more meaningful all of you agree that every household has become a classroom today when every household has become a classroom today at home not only students will listen to us we teachers should remain we should be informed that even the parents will listen to us because before pandemic before online parents were not listening to our talks today parents are also rating us so today my job is learn unlearn and relearn if i relearn i can stand in the society today otherwise i am outdated and all of you agree if i am not updated i am outdated and today pedagogy is nothing but the method and practice of teaching today pedagogy means what my approach to teaching if a student do not understand i should make the class interesting and see some other means of making them understand today i can't hurt a student today i can't scold a student 20 years back when i was a, when i when we were all children when we were the school teachers used to slap us teacher used to come tell our parents today you can't do all these things today pedagogy has taken over the shape but actually the difference between pedagogy and education comes now whenever i adopt pedagogy it should influence the growth of learner if the learners are not growing my pedagogy is going in the wrong direction and pedagogy actually means my method and practice of teaching all of us know that every class i can't apply the same method of teaching in one class students will be silent another class student may make noise another class student may ask questions my pedagogy should be flexible so the future role of teachers is very interesting and unless i am equipped with all technological changes i can't proceed to the next century and all of us know education is nothing but application of pedagogy so pedagogy is a pedagogy makes more sense of the complex relationship between teaching and learning today just i can't teach today all of you agree my job is my responsibility starts after a student leaves the college my publicity takes place after students leaves the college 
I get publicity only when a student joins a good job. Only when a student gets his return on investment. What is return on investment? Today, all of you observe a student. He tells before completing the degree only, I am expecting this much of salary. That means what? He is already calculating his return on investment. This you are not doing 20, 30 years back. And all of us know the purpose of education is to prepare individual into better person. According to me, a teacher should be given freedom to adjust curriculum, lesson plan, and other things. And all of you agree that today teacher role is entirely different. And today I'm not supposed to do any mistakes. Mistakes are part of life, but I am not supposed to become a part of mistake. Today, if I do a small mistake in the class, the student Sir, you're muted. Sir, kindly unmute yourself, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of us know that all successful and unsuccessful people have one thing in common 24 hours a day. How I use it makes difference. All of you know, in some classes, when I come out, I'll be happy. In some classes, when I come out, I may feel disturbed. Some classes, when I come out, I may feel stressed, each thing's fun. And all of us know that if you have a choice, choose the best. If you don't have a choice, do the best. Let me make it clear that motivation is already lying in us like sticks in matchbox. I have to just light it. Please see the slide. A teacher is accountable to the society, which trusts him. All of us know that parents are investing their money on us actually. But today, technology has overtaken everything. And all of you know today, innovation in education is a highly contentious issue. It is a, still an argument is going on innovation in education. But can I reach rural areas also? What I am giving in urban, it is a become a dilemma now. And teaching and learning process in the classroom these days are shifting from autocratic style to participatory style. All of us know that today I should have more interaction in the class, not just one way of talking. Now, the problem is with digital infrastructure. Digital infrastructure is what? I should deliver services to remote areas also. Today, I'm talking about internet of things. What is internet of things? Interconnected devices. Today, I'm a maker teacher. What is maker teacher? Today, I'm a maker teacher. Today, my role is different. I should inspire students to dream up their inventions. Otherwise, I am a failure in the class. And all of you agree today that a student should have positive attitude. I am clearly telling that no student should tell no one likes me. Students should not tell no one likes me. Student should tell no one is like me. That is the starting point of positive attitude. And I should make clear to the students, attitude determines your altitude in life. Your attitude is the outcome of your, it decides your altitude. So develop proper attitude. Even now some of us feel when you go to somebody's house, we see students are not disciplined. All of you agree that a teacher's role is 24 hours job. Even when you go with your family to a hotel or a theater there, if some students are not behaving properly, don't we feel guilty? Don't we feel guilty? My students are doing this mistake some other place. That means the crowd says he is from a bad college. Teacher has not taught him discipline. So my job is not only inside the campus or inside the class. My job carries 
outside the campus also please make it clear and we should make clear to the students if you want to rise in life you should ready to dig deeper if you dig deeper you will rise high in life and i should make the students flexible today what is flexibility are students able to ready to face the change are you ready to face the change are you are ready to change the face you should be ready to face the changes and i should tell the students enjoy your each year of learning you should add life to each year just don't add years to life add life to years and all of us know that success will introduce success will introduce me to the world but failure introduces the world to me so i learn more from failure than success 20 years back i was telling empty purse uh, hungry stomach will teach me what is not there in any textbook but today pandemic has taught more than everything to everybody today pandemic has taught me how to handle my surroundings birds animals plant trees my neighbor or my stranger pandemic taught me i should not take care of only my health i should take care of my students community's health also if students are happy if students are healthy the entire campus will be healthy see the pandemic where it is taking us and all of us know that we find a better teacher in failure than success but let me make it clear that i have to be human to meet another human i should not be partial i should not be selfish and i should make it clear to the teachers that teachers means our community should always feel that rule your mind or it will rule you because whenever i am talking to the students i should not be harsh i should never hurt their feelings my job is to give each student the same respond respect and i should respond to all students in the class and all of us know that bill gates has told once whenever a tough problem arises i'll catch lazy people because they find a shortcut for it even the lazy student in the class is my target but i should improve him when i started my teaching in 1985 once a student called me and told sir i am standing in front of shringeri sharada and i am remembering you it was equal to crores for me the satisfaction i get equal to crores this i didn't expect in one of the colleges when i was talking how to become popular among the students i said on a holiday if a student remembers you on a holiday if a student calls you madam sir i remembered you it is equal to crores i think all of you agree that means i have done my job so some students want immediate success but one thing i want to make it clear delay in success you need not worry delay in success always takes some time construction of a small house you can do quickly but construction of a pyramid takes time so nothing comes suddenly please make it clear to the student and we should also make it clear to the student as a teacher a good decision comes from experience but experience comes from bad decision but i can't take bad decision always but to take a good decision i should have experienced a bad decision and some students always depend on somebody else for help we should tell them the einstein saying einstein once told i thank all those people who didn't help me when i asked for help and make me work on my own and become popular so einstein has made it clear that you should work on your own and we should teach the students as a teacher i am telling in future a student should know what is empathy and sympathy all of us know that today communication skill is overtaking what is communication skill today all of us know that the gaps are created by what is said and not 
all of you observe what is said is not important how it is said is important i should make the student learn how to tell instead of what to tell because what is said will go to the mind how it is said will go to the heart but without winning the heart you can't win the mind so how i talk is more important than what i talk how i talk will change a student and all of us know that a student should be taught to live simple life what is simple life all of us know that luxury and telling lies has got a big maintenance cost if i want to be have luxury if i want to it has got maintenance cost but truth and simplicity they are self maintained and if i come to my role of teachers all these accumulate for me but finally what is the final outcome my final outcome means student should get a job student should be happy student parent should be happy and student should know how to live in society today we call it as social skill today student should have social skills otherwise he can't survive in the society and all of us know that the role of teacher in the near future classroom all of you know that destiny is not created by the footwear i wear destiny is created by the steps i take so if i take a wrong step if i take a wrong direction the role of teacher will be a flop because i have not taught my student the proper direction in his life and all of us should know that success is not just like climbing a ladder and getting and jumping success is like climbing a pyramid because when you go to the top you have less space more competition unless you face the competition and survive you can't be a successful man this i should make it to the this applies to both of us teacher also student also and all of us know that whenever i invest money whenever i invest money i calculate interest on principal but in real life i talk about principal but i act according to my interest see the fun and all of us know that the best investment in the world is knowledge knowledge gives maximum return on investment than anything else and pandemic has taught me as a role of teacher in the near future it has taught me that today's wastage is tomorrow shortage if i waste anything today tomorrow i'll be hang the shortage of it this is yes, no yes and let us make it clear to the students that every test in life every test in life makes us bitter or better either bitter or better that's all it is my choice whether i want to become a victim or the victor if i want to become a victor i should be a better person and all of us know that our life is full of favorable and unfavorable situations and it is a part of living but facing the situation is the art of living and swami vivekananda has told appear as you are and be as you appear so the role of teacher in the near future is not restricted to only the classroom my job is outside the campus also my job is there and what is my major role of a teacher in during this pandemic during this pandemic i learned that i should teach my students lifelong learning skills even after they leave the college even after they join the job even after they get married they should keep on learning something in life there is no end for learning so as a teacher my job is to develop themselves i should make them develop themselves lifelong learning skill swami vivekananda has told even someone knows that tomorrow they are going to die today i can learn something there is no end for knowledge 
Buddha has told we all know few drops in the ocean of knowledge. We know only few drops. And today, what all is needed? Today, what all is needed for a role of a teacher to be successful? According to me, the at present today, one is communication skill, listening skill. Today, I should have friendly attitude. Only when I have friendly attitude, student, I am accessible to student. Student will approach me. If a student do not approach me, it means it is my mistake. And some of you agree that even the students of some other department will come and tell you their problem. That means you are easily accessible. It is your approach. Today, pandemic has taught me more about approaching people than handling people. I should be accessible. A good teacher is not only popular inside the class. A good teacher should be accessible to all departments in the entire campus. Management should also give you favorable position. For that, I should have some of this communication skill, friendly attitude. I should have patience. I should have patience. Once a disciple asked Buddha, what is the what is anger? Buddha told, taking poison and expecting somebody to die. Taking poison and expecting somebody to die is the anger. Anger cuts relationship. One day you speak wrongly, angrily in the classroom and go to the classroom next day. All will listen to you by force, not by heart. By heart, they'll be looking at watch when you leave the class. Please think over. So whether I am an author or a tutor, we are having two types of students in the class, passive student, active student. Please concentrate more on the dullest student in the class. The dullest student in the class is your asset. The publicity he makes, it is worth crores. You convert him into a good student, good citizen. See the returns you get. See the publicity you get. And I should be strong. See, I should have some ethics. And I should have organizational skills. And 24 hours, I am a teacher. One professor told me when I started teaching, if you are not prepared to the class, apply leave. Because when I go to the class without preparation, I will scold the student. A teacher's job is complain or explain, convince or confuse. But today, I can't do this. Today, students are more knowledgeable than me. The moment I use a word in the class, immediately they'll browse and tell, you are told wrongly, sir. They'll tell within a fraction of second, they'll tell. So today, I have to be very careful inside the classroom. And as a teacher, I must know how to shift the gear. How to shift the gear in the class means I should be flexible. I'm talking, I'm taking a lesson. Students are not understanding. I should find within a fraction of a second new ways of teaching to make them understand with example. Once a teacher asks a kid in the class, in the middle school, which is your place of birth? Kid said, Himachal Pradesh. Teacher said, tell the spelling of Himachal Pradesh. Kid immediately told, no madam, sorry, not Himachal Pradesh, I took birth in Goa. This makes a student brain run faster than the teacher in the class. Some students brain runs faster than us, we have to be careful. And all of us know that a student should remember, for example, even after joining a job, a student remembers and tells wish on the teacher's day. They wish on the teacher's day means they are remembering us. They are remembering us means I have made some impact in their future in life. That means I taught them lifelong learning skill. Unless I teach a student lifelong learning skill, social skill, how to behave in society, how to get adjusted to society, I am a failure. So the role of a teacher is very strong in 
I especially at present, the present generation of students we can make out. And today, all of us know that one needs to become a, that every future teacher will need strong subject knowledge. According to me, never prefer a subject when you join the job. Just accept what subject comes to you. Otherwise, we'll become narrow-minded. And all of us know that in a class, I, I am only a facilitator. Today, I'm only a facilitator. 20 years back, I was teaching or telling. They were listening. Today, no teaching, telling. Today, learning process. Today, learning process has become very strong today. And uh, today, I had to become digitally literate. Students should develop technological skills and they should know how to re make research papers. They should know on their own how to do plagiarism testing and they should understand how to access online information. Today, I want students to do on their own everything. So today, I should teach a student social responsibility also. Social responsibility. And my teaching should encourage students to innovate. Students will innovate. My teaching should not be traditional. There is a famous saying in English, you have to face today's battle with tomorrow's weapons. If I face today's battle with yesterday or today's weapon, I am outdated. So today's battle, if I face with tomorrow's weapons, the role of my teacher as a future teacher is assured. And all of us know that this pedagogy, what is pedagogy actually means the art, science, or profession of teaching. Teaching is an art. Teaching is, a, there is some scientific principles in teaching. I had, to, I had to implement some logical steps. And all of you know that when you enter the class, what you say, when you leave the class, what you say, in between how I manage the student. And all of us should make it clear that entire one hour of a session, I should not talk, I should not talk only syllabus. Today, if I talk syllabus for entire one hour, strictly in a class, I am outdated. So students are rating me on so many things. Do I know out of syllabus? Am I updating them? Am I telling them what they don't know? A students like me only when I tell what they don't know. And in the class, I should have a little humor. And in a class, I should allow students to speak. The role of teacher is changing now. Two years back, it was one way. We are scolding students, listen, look at me, don't talk. Today, you can't do this. Today, student says, I'm talking because what you're talking, I'm not understanding. So I have to be very careful. The role of a teacher is changing now. And all of you agree that I am preparing the young, young students to become lifelong learning. They should have lifelong learning and they should have deep subject knowledge. If, it's true, if I don't give a student deep subject knowledge, I am a failure in the class. And I should enable the students should have, one is practically, a student should know practical application of what I teach. And all of us know that pedagogy, it is studying teaching methodology. In a day only in different classes, I have to use different pedagogy. I can't use same for three to four classes. I go to PUC, I go to degree, I go to CA class, I go to MBA class. Everywhere I can't be same. I think all of you agree with this. <clears throat> so, my what is my final thing? My final thing is, am I improving the students? And I am very happy to say that today, we have to teach students little about ethics. What is ethics? Student lives with their parents, they have brothers and sisters, they have friends, they meet people on the road, they come to college. I should teach them 
how to talk to different people how what should is their gesture and posture and i should make clear to the student respect every drop of water respect every drop of water whether it is from the sky or i sky is given by god the drop of i means tears the tears come out because you don't have empathy principle if you don't have empathy principle you are hurting another and you lose the relationship in the long run you will be alone this also i have to train my students empathy ethics i have to teach and let me make it clear to all of us even including me between yesterday's mistake and tomorrow's hope there is a fantastic opportunity called today please see that you don't postpone anything a student asked me a doubt today i don't know means today only i should have homework today only i should do the homework okay i am very happy to say that we are not chemicals we are not chemicals we can think before reacting we can think before reacting means we should have empathy feeling we say stepping into other shoes before i utter a word before i talk to a student harshly or hurting that empathy feelings i should have and all of us know that every teacher was once a student and we have all gone in the long run to learn and external focus today students understand what happens in the workplace all of us know that some students you only observe a student will attend five classes a day sometimes they miss four classes but they are ready to attend only one class that one class they are not ready to miss which is the class student decides so student has decided out of five classes i must attend this class means it is my positive attitude so the student likes my class means i should talk something outstanding and let us make it clear that we should make the students feel that life uh, life is about one choice everybody has got a life it is of one choice either give up or get up if you give up you need not have to get up if you get up don't give up some students are in dilemma after degree what to do shall i go to job or shall i continue my studies they will ask me for a they will ask me for decision so i have to be i have to convince them and they don't meet their parents they'll talk to they give teacher more respect than parents brothers and sisters see our role today our role continues well let any technology come a teacher role continues only the technology may change only the environment may change but the teacher student relationship will continue and all of us know that what comes easily will not last long what comes easily will never last long but what last long what lasts long will not come easily in the class we see two types of students working hardly hardly working i know who is who but still i should not express it i should treat both same i should not tell a student you work hardly will be well placed you hardly work you will be placed in well i should not tell but keep track keep track we, we can make out who is working hardly who is hardly working some students they'll be having their own problems when they leave the home they'll be having domestic problem personal problem some students may be poor students please understand them never hurt a student in the crowd you want to talk to student talk face to face alone understand their problem nobody is problem free and make clear to the student don't give up 
don't give up because anything you take in the beginning it will be hard only so don't give up beginning is always hard you put extra effort there is no substitute for hard work you make it clear to them and you make it clear to the student failure is the best teacher what failure teaches no textbook can teach me and all of you agree with this and today we are depending on external focus and data analysis today teachers need data but data today is easily available to student also to me also today both are equal today both are holding mobile in the class there is no difference so please see that i am shifting from traditional teacher to modern teacher but one thing we make it clear anything around me will teach me something an ant is going means ant is telling me indirectly don't stand or sit at a place look at an elephant elephant says rain or shine i am moving nothing can stop me camel says i am the strongest person on the desert you have no choice i am great each one has got their own role i learn from each observe birds going in the sky i learn something when birds in a flock of birds are going in the sky you you please observe whenever a turn comes the birds which are at the back will come front because going front means more strenuous wind blows more so birds also follow management principle of planning and forecasting i learn something from everything i learn so and please make it clear that whenever everything seems to be going in the wrong direction whenever is going everything against us remember aeroplane takes off against the strong wind only so remember aeroplane take off it goes against the wind and all of us know that whenever there is heavy rain we should not pray god for stopping the rain we should pray god for a bigger umbrella because we need rain so we should know what to pray and what not to pray and all of us know that if you challenge people you win only one day in your life don't go for challenges in life as a teacher i should not challenge on anybody only one day i will win challenge yourself daily you will win so there is lot of difference between challenging on somebody and challenging myself and all of us know that mother teresa has told helping hands are better than praying lips please make it clear to the students that there are two things now one is standard of living and standard of giving as a teacher i should make my students be clear with standard of living and standard of giving also whenever my income increases i should develop standard of giving i should help community i should help people i should not concentrate at my own this pandemic has taught me that post pandemic behavior of a teacher has certainly changed and online teaching may not be effective but still but still some students are making use of it it is not 100% flaw so let us make it clear that it doesn't matter how slowly you go but as long as you don't stop you are perfect whether you are running or crawling or moving don't stop just keep moving and update yourself with digital infrastructure and pedagogical tools and hitler has told if you do not like a rule if you do not like a rule follow it go to the top change the rule so going to the top also you have an ambition you can achieve it but till you go to the top follow the rules given by others so my request for everybody is be a player in the game 
be a player in the game who runs for the goal never become a referee referee means always finding fault with others it will stop my learning my growth my teaching so finally pandemic has taught me i should take care of my surroundings environment all those things please see this slide i should be development or innovation oriented and creative problem solver i should inhibit quality of creativity in the minds of a student sometimes students may be knowing more than me on a particular topic i should entertain them i should entertain because knowledge is nobody's property and all of us know that we should adapt in instructional practices quickly uh there is some issue at the end of the class student should not what is this next class i will not attend just start playing games in the class so from the moment i enter the class till i leave the class i should know how to balance the class <clears throat> uh is there some issue with uh, technical issue yeah so, yes can... even it's yeah. not audible i think to most of them no yeah. sir uh, so sir is not in the room so maybe we will rejoin yeah i will wait we'll for another two minutes yeah i request the participants to kindly wait there is some technical glitch at the speakers end so let us make it clear that generally usually a student says i don't have memory power but whenever we observe somebody's mistakes we remember for a very long time somebody's mistakes and faults we remember for a long time is we have memory power so we should make it clear to the student to develop your memory power only on the important things you need not remember everything what exactly you need because you can observe a student usually he says when i see a question paper i forget but he remembers all unwanted statistical figures so make it clear to the student that as a as a role of a teacher i am telling student should be told that you have good memory power use it for good things don't try to remember unwanted things is it audible yes sir yes sir ah. yes sir it's audible so as a teacher i should uh, tell the students that plan the day 24 hours what you are diary what you are doing you write down i tell my students your parents started spending for you before you took birth before they saw you before they saw you before you took birth they are spending for you means what is your returns for them in your life and all of us know that this empathy feeling is matters a lot for me in future and i am uh, according all of you know according to medical science any injury on the tongue heals fastest medical science says you can observe yourself any injury on the tongue heals fastest but any injury made by the tongue will never heal <coughs> so injury made by the tongue means it is moral science so empathy moral science also i have to teach my student how to survive in society 
For example, whenever you go to somebody's house, if a student is sitting crossed legs, watching TV with high volume, what is your opinion about the student? Don't you tell his teacher has not taught him discipline, how to live in society? It has impact on me. So the role of a teacher is not just syllabus oriented or just pedagogical. It is beyond these two. And all of you know, 20, 30 years back, or if you take, there was no pedagogy, there was no technical technology. But still students, we were teaching, students were learning. <coughs> but today, the directions are changing. But according to direction, I am going, that is all. Today, I am developing new art of teaching, new science of teaching. Today, I am, today I am developing new professional ethics of teaching. What are the professional ethics? Am I considerate for the student? Am I improving a student? Am I teaching student learning skill? Am I improving communication skill with the student? Do I have patience? Today, what are my challenges today? Today, I have diverse students. Today, I have too many diverse students in the class who are more knowledgeable, competitive. <coughs> And today, teacher student ratio also matters. If you go to one college, 100 students will be there. Another college, 40 students will be there. And all of you know the real teaching takes place in the school. In the school, teacher knows each student's personal also, what their parents are doing, who is their neighbor, do they have Indian dog or imported dog. How they come to the school. See, we see everything in a school. But in a college, we have little matured students, that is diversified students we have. So students will have will be having their own economic background. And please, before you enter the class as a teacher, you, you study about the student. They are from what background? Talk to them. You maintain a diary. This student is from this place. His parents are working here. His brothers and sisters, what they are doing. Please study them. And I am also responsible for their out of syllabus happiness also. My job is just not teaching and learning. So today we are shifting from teacher led curriculum led all gone today. Today it is open curriculum. Today it is digital textbooks. Today it is competency based learning. Student will listen five YouTube channel. Who teaches better, he will continue. See where the, where the direction is going now. And today faculties are changing. And students will, all of you please observe. When a student enters my class first day, listening to me for five minutes, he will rate me. Next class, I should not attend this class. Next class, I must attend this class. Next class, even if I don't attend anybody's, I should attend this class. He will decide within five minutes. So today, students are very sharp. As a teacher, please do justice. And today, artificial, Intelligence has also has come. Today we have audio video tools. Today everything is online. And of course, hybrid is also there. So today, the innovative ways of teaching. Today I have the innovative ways. Which are the innovative ways? I should plan in advance. I should plan in advance. And I should tell the student in advance what I am going to speak in the next class. Come prepared. You come prepared. Don't have the class one way. Some students may talk more than us, better than us. We will entertain. I told you, no friendly attitude. See that students do some homework about what I am going to talk in the next class and come to class. And entertain the students for discussion in the class. Make student, each student speak for two minutes in the class. 
today the campus selection where all companies all corporate sector is telling students are available not suitable students are available suresh sir equality yes i am yes. responsible and the most important is today collaborative learning collaborative learning comes from pedagogical tools with digital infrastructure updated and today all institutions are gearing up for pedagogy and digital infrastructure and they are laying optic fiber cables we have got internet of things and today the directions are changing today if i am not updated in my pedagogical tools if i am not updated in my art science and professional different ways of teaching i am outdated so it is important that as a teacher i should involve students in the class and but i should regulate them i should monitor them but i should make students speak more in the class but in long line no one of us know what is happening parents are learning students are listening to my class or both are listening both are not listening only video is on audio i don't know but still i have to do my i have to play my role and please observe the learning gap of students all of us know that some students will score more marks in the first assignment and in the second and third assignment they may not do well please talk to them personally find out their any personal problems they have my role is there also my role doesn't stop at just grading the student or talking to the students or rating them okay <clears throat> so i thank you all for your patient listening and uh, finally i want to tell this pandemic has taught us don't think only about us or your family think about everybody and as a role of teacher i am not only accountable for my students and my institution the role of a teacher is 24 hours job wherever you are you are accountable you are responsible to somebody today all of us are coming to know about value of oxygen value of oxygen was freely available but today people are paying for oxygen also means it means we are all responsible for that so let us plant trees let us help animals birds neighbors and as a teacher let us not be selfish we will develop ethical empathy feelings so by this i want to conclude and i am open for interaction thank you sir uh, we have one uh, question in the chat box sir once Yeah. So this question is from Dr. Jagdish. How NEP impact on post graduation courses and research? Oh. How NEP? Ah, okay, okay. education policy impact on post graduation courses and research yeah actually this education policy is making compulsory for lecturers and teachers at the entry level itself some basic qualifications so national entrance test net or uh, sled or research today the more importance is going for publications publications of research papers only when i do some research work only when i do something 
creative only when i do something beyond beyond my routine and profession i will be noted i get publicity 20 years back teaching means it was just chalk and talk <coughs> today chalk and talk is not there today it is beyond technology says update your knowledge profession says have you done any research work are you helping the students also to do research because post graduates most of the students will go for teaching who go for teaching before only they should have published something that's what education policy is putting the impact on sharing of knowledge sharing of knowledge presentation publications of articles in journals magazines and uh, you know this corpus abcd web of sciences and the uh, students who have joined recently for uh, phd they are supposed to make publications and uh, they are to update their knowledge almost very often today's teaching has changed today all cannot do teaching today teaching is more of uh, homework than college work it is not just teaching after going home also i have to do something relating to my profession so education policy is making more is refining me actually actually it is positive i have to do more of research work thank you sir there is another question motivating students to do anything beyond curriculum remains a challenge what can be done for motivating them yeah so unless i motivate the students to do something beyond syllabus what is beyond syllabus conducting games in the class role playing and make groups in the class give assignments and tell the students to make presentations in the class their communication skill will improve some students are withdrawing in nature some students are nervous who are nervous who are dull who are passive call them to your chamber and talk one to one understand their problem you refine them and as a teacher each student is an asset to me each student belongs to me each student is an asset my concentration should be on all the students not only a particular group or particular bench or only who answers to my questions in the class each student is like my child this is the only profession which creates other professions means each individual belongs to me i am accountable for each student's growth i am accountable for each student's future unless i motivate them it will not happen i think so thank you sir there's another question present generation students are technically advanced what role is teachers to help them to deal with surplus information yeah today both are same because of the technology both are, for example i use a word in the class means immediately student will browse in the mobile and tell ah you told correctly sir this is the alternative this is the synonym so today technology as updating everybody today that's what teacher student learning is happening previously it was listening and telling previously it was one way it is fraction of a second there is two way collaborative thinking in the class so that skills the students are having today is enormous some students will go home and see what has spoken in the class they see little more also beyond what has spoken so in this context i want to tell that it is collaborative thinking and critical thinking is also there if i tell a student what you said is wrong tomorrow he will come with information and tell what i said yesterday is correct see so unless if i am not updated i should not go for that's what contentious i told 
contentious thinking leads to argument today talking to a student is very sensitive matter unless you have statistical information unless you have some proper information never say you are right today the days are changing according to me good question thank you sir so there's another question dr prashant has asked this question what are the roles of teachers in designing curriculum in present situation today teacher led curriculum led society is changing education policy has changed a lot and today everything is getting centralized today syllabus is getting centralized once i was asking a, in a in a particular class i was asking a, asking the students of 16 in a class what is the difference between advice advic advice i was asking about this english advic advice out of 60 students of degree not even one answer later on i saw this question this was there in the third standard english book advic is a noun advic is a verb students know english students speak good english what about grammar and spelling this i am worried today students are using mobile spelling they are forgetting full spelling today they are going for short form whenever a student goes for short form it means it is laziness one kid asks mother get me water mother says you only come and take kid asks again mother mother get me water mother said if you don't come i'll slap you kid says anyway you are coming for slapping get the water i am telling you the extent of laziness happening i think uh, our students should develop too much communication skill i am i am very unhappy about students short forms abbreviations let them use on the mobile for chatting but when they are preparing a memo or notice or after they join a job they should know grammar and spelling they should know the difference between phrase and clause which gives complete meaning you observe the students they talk sentence in cuts in bits they talk it will not help in the interview or placement today the interview and placement is concentrating more on the communication skills of a student i think it is agreed <laughs> so there is another question uh, mr shekhar i asked this question national education policy not states about how much remuneration should be paid to teachers does less remuneration influencing the teacher to be a sound resourceful teacher two minutes back i said ethical values 1960 my father was getting my father was getting 25 rupees salary 1985 when we started teaching they are paying 300 rupees today more than 1 and 1/2 lakhs finally everybody says you observe the professions teaching comes last nobody says teaching comes first because teaching profession creates all other professions this question is perfectly correct a teacher in some countries teachers are paid more than other professional people even today in some countries but in uh, india i do not know whether it is bargaining power of a teacher or uh, supply is more than demand we don't know where exactly it is going actually a teacher deserves a particular standard of living if you see semi urban and rural areas there the payment is very less some teachers go to the school by cycle and by walk this question is right there should be some minimum payment of wages in india there is minimum payment of wages act it applies to only factories and other things why not for service sector that to teaching it is a debatable question because in india you know different types of organizations of educational background they have different types of packages there is no uniformity 
it is agreed what is said is right but who will bell the cat <laughs> that is there uh, so this question from beena would any be make one second sir would nep make provision for multidisciplinary phd consider for government teaching position actually the latest guideline says if a person has done phd in marketing he will be observed as a marketing professor so which area he has done phd he will go to that department in the college multidisciplinary means it will confuse interdisciplinary intradisciplinary multidisciplinary multidisciplinary means more than two three subjects will join so the institution will observe in which department is the dilemma now accounting finance we can go together but hr marketing you can't go together phd in hr will go to hr department phd in marketing will go to marketing department this confusion is there previously it was not there but it is a recent guideline some universities some organizations they are observing into the particular department only that phd what they have done phd in marketing is marketing department accounting and finance means general management today we are seeing business analytics also all changing today when the terminology is changing even in the corporate sector it is changing now we are seeing business analyst finance analyst need manager today there the designations are changing so the another question dr prashanta has asked us adding a yoga course as mandatory to present curriculum is this useful definitely useful once i was in abroad on a particular conference there was a discussion going on for mba or any professional course there should be a subject from mahabharata mahabharata has got 13 characters a student to survive in society he should know the glimpse of all 13 characters for survival they are telling why can't we add this yoga will yoga meditation is 100% useful we are seeing now after pandemic we are seeing the people who are healthy the people who are uh, who are immune who have got immunity are surviving without vaccination vaccination is only a secondary medicine what about primary medicine primary medicine is my health my health comes from yoga meditation i think most of you agree my health is in my kitchen 90% of my health is in my kitchen of the house i think you agree yoga is 100% useful no doubt about it i think this would be the last question for the day uh, is nep change implement the faculties today's situation please repeat madam uh is nep change or implement yes. the faculties in today's situation no i didn't hear clearly so i am sorry uh, so the question is uh, by implementing this nep uh, the faculty situation will it change that's definitely, what it definitely it will change because at the entry level only i will be interviewed very toughly <coughs> previously what happened my certificates were speaking about me my degree certificates today my degree certificates are not are only 50% other than degree certificates what i have other than degree certificates my presentations publications and uh, what are the um, activities i have done in the college and what are the departments are where where exactly i was in the institution i was in the examination committee i was in the sports committee i was in the ncc committee so today in our teaching only teaching you can't survive you should be in multi departmental activities 
in the campus it will add to our recognition today only by certificates i can't survive today my more is on research work publications and in the institutions in what committees they have put me with confidence attendance committee examination committee that is also mattering today so today my job my teaching job includes so many things not just a syllabus i think it is agreed by the person yes ma'am thank you sir uh, yes. thank you for giving a great insight on the role of teachers and how teachers have to adapt to the new normal and update ourselves to the current requirement of the students thank you so much sir thank you very much thank you very much now may i kindly call upon our principal professor vidya shivanavar to give the presidential remarks thank you ma'am am i audible ma'am yes ma'am yeah, a very good afternoon to all of you uh, this is the fifth day of uh, the nac criteria based uh, faculty development program and on this fifth day we have with us dr uh, shrinath tk associate professor cms business school jain group of institutions uh, sir spoke about future role of teachers today sir is one among the popular teachers in uh, bangalore we all have uh, seen sir uh, his pattern of working uh, i had got, got a chance once to uh, coordinate with him uh, relating to bba viva was the examinations uh, so it it has been a, a great opportunity for all of us today uh, to listen to sir as to how a teacher has to mold themselves or adopt changes uh, for the current requirement and what i feel after this nep and all uh, new education policy or after covid see we have lot of changes and the role of teachers keep on changing especially in higher education institutions degree colleges the role of teachers is not more teaching or not more giving lectures we have lot of things which we do we involve ourselves into uh, committee works we involve ourselves into counseling now maybe after pandemic counseling is one important point uh, which is very much required for all the teachers days are not far that maybe teacher ha teachers have to complete one of the psychological uh, certification course uh, so that uh, teachers can counsel the students because uh, after students have come back to the colleges we have just seen the change in the uh, 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 what you call behavior or attitude of the students uh, they have completely lost their attention rate uh, where the uh, students don't concentrate much on classes they are not able to sit for a long hours they used to sit for 5 hours 6 of 6 uh, hours of class now 3 hours of class also it is difficult for them so like the major responsibility is on the shoulders of teachers now as to how to cope up with all these things okay so we need to meticulously plan organize so a teacher cannot only be a teacher she needs to or she or he needs to be a good planner good organizer more creative and uh, she should be more efficient where uh, he or she should be able to find out different ways where utilize whatever is available okay and uh, uh, give maximum to the student as sir very clearly told that uh, empathy or uh, kind of uh, being friendly to the student is very important especially to this present generation it's very important because a decade old generation is different from the generation what we see now uh, normally when we speak to students uh we see that they come from different backgrounds we need to identify which uh, which particular background they come whether they are slow learners or they are uh, fast learners so they require different kind of uh, uh, teaching pedagogies which we need to use uh, so shrinath sir has covered almost all the points which a future teacher uh, is required to be uh, thank you so much sir for accepting our invitation and being here with us and giving your experience out so when 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 you were talking we just felt that whatever you are telling is your experience what you have gained out of your teaching experience teaching uh, uh, years of experience which you have uh, thank you so much for uh, being with us sir 
and i also thank the organizing team of faculty development uh, 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 committee of the college drishti forum shilpa ma'am suresha b sir and dilip sir who have taken uh, even today it's a sunday we all are at home but they have made it a point that the webinar uh, fdp of seven days goes on well thank you to all of them thank you thank you one and all now i should also from my side hello Am yes sir yes yeah from yes, my sir. side i also thank you madam uh, thank you <laughs> principal professor vidya shivanavar and i also thank uh, chairman of the governing council <clears throat> wg rajakrishna and i also uh, thank convener of drishti dilip kumar yadav and i also thank honorable general secretary bp krishna and all trust members and i also thank very much my research student suresh and uh, it was very nice talking to all of you though it was online lot of questions were asked which was high 100% relevant but the future role of teacher every day it is changing yes sir as you said clearly it will change and after two years also we don't know is it online or offline or hybrid yes sir so we are at state of confusion but let us pray god for everybody's health and let us pray god for everybody's happiness so so thank you all madam thank, thank you, you sir thank you so much sure. i deem it a great honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this occasion let me start by giving glory to almighty god for making today's webinar a resounding success on behalf of management principal and staff i thank our speaker dr shrinath tk who despite his busy schedule has found time to grace this occasion and our deep sense of appreciation for sharing with us some of his experience and knowledge and giving us the role of future teachers and giving us a better understanding on it thank you so much sir thank you madam thank you I also wish to express my gratitude to Professor Principal Professor Vidya Shivanava for her minute-to-minute -minute guidance and support, and providing encouragement at every point of time for this webinar, which has taken a great shape. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I extend my thanks to our HOD Punita Ji for your guidance and support to organize this webinar. Thank you, ma'am. An event of this dimension cannot happen overnight. it requires meticulous planning and execution and an eye up for detail which has been greatly executed by the organizing team associate professor dilip kumar yadav convener and co conveners assistant professor shilpa cs and assistant professor suresha b for of drishti forum for faculty development thank you all i also extend my thanks to iqac team for the support extended towards this webinar I thank all the faculties from various institution for their enthusiastic participation in this webinar. Thank you all. I extend a sincere thanks to the teaching and non-teaching staff of SICM for the involvement they have shown and the willingness they have expressed to take an completion of the task beyond their comfort zones. Thank you all. Uh, a note to all the participants: the link for today's webinar has been shared in the chat box. you can kindly fill up those uh, links uh, once again i thank you all and it was a great session thank you th once again thank you all ashwinath sir thank you so much sir thank you madam thank, thank you all god bless everybody thank you sir thank you uh, and the note for all the participants uh, all the uh, days webinars will be up uploaded in the youtube channel of the college we will share the youtube channel link in the whatsapp group you all can view the all days webinar uh, uh, all the days faculty development program which have happened thank you thank you one and all thank you shilpa ma'am